Hello YouTube and welcome back to my 1.8 Minecraft series on redstone. So, last episode I took you over some of the utilities and things we can power redstone with as well as some of the cool uh, piston things that we can do and some things to do with dispensers. Uh, the episode before that I went over the basics but we won't get into any of that. And this episode I'm going to be taking you over some of the different rails we've got. So in the name Minecraft we've actually got the word mine. Now this could be used as minecart I'm guessing. And uh, we've actually got quite a few different rails in the game here. Uh, I'm going to take you over a few of them. Uh, we'll start with going over a few of the different carts. So we've actually got the basic minecart here which we can actually right click to get in and left shift to get out of. This means that on a minecart track we can actually travel down on minecart tracks and uh, this is one with a chest in here so you right click on that and you've actually got an inventory and this can this chest is portable so you can travel it wherever you want this is a TNT inside of a minecart this will explode when we activate it I'll show you how to do that uh, later on in this video this is a hopper this has a small inventory and I'll show you guys what that does uh, in a later video probably because this one well this is quite advanced redstone here and then we've got a furnace here and as you can see it's just fallen off the rail so there we go okay so we've got three basic types of rail here if I just grab myself a minecart and we can just place this down on the top here this is the basic rail this does nothing it just transports our cart from A to B so let's go ahead and give this guy a push and you can see that it travels along the rail okay so after that we've actually got the powered rail now we can put a minecart on here and we can try and push it off and as you can see it's actually going to go really fast down here so if I was to extend this track out we would see that this goes actually a lot faster than our regular our regular rails so let's click on this and there we go now this is used to keep power to our minecarts because if we have quite a long track here the chances are that our minecart is going to slow to a stop so we're actually going to need to power it to keep it going so let's hit this down and as you can see it's just slow to a stop but if we added a powered rail here into our track let's add a, a few in a line here and then went ahead and grabbed a redstone torch we can actually power this and you can see a different animation for when the thing is powered or not when this is not powered the the uh, track will act as a brake so um, I'll show you a good way to use that and then if we power it it will act actually actually act as a uh, accelerator so it will now accelerate once it hits these and reach the end of our track there we go nice okay so let's just get rid of these and we'll get rid of that and we're done with this as well so as you can see here I've got a different type of rail again but I'm actually going to show you our um, I'm actually going to show you a way to use braking. So, say if we wanted to get into a minecart and travel down a track here, we can actually go ahead and let's get some wood. We can build a little thing up here and we'll lob a button on that. And as you can see, when I put a minecart down here, the cart is not going to go anywhere this is because we've got a powered mine a uh, powered rail sorry underneath the cart that is breaking it if we go ahead and get in this and press this button it will power the the uh, powered rail and we should set off on our way there we go look so this is good if you want to be able to ride your carts and you want to be able to get in them before they start moving there we go okay cool so now that we've done that we're going to look at the detector rail now this will actually send out a redstone pulse when it's when it detects that uh, a cart is over the rail so as an example I'll go ahead and give this guy a push come on oh we might have to power this guy actually so let's just lob a redstone torch down here and you can see that uh, as the cart went over it actually gave out a redstone pulse here if the cart stayed on here we'd actually get a permanent pulse until this cart was removed okay so now on to something called a redstone clock this basically gives a um, gives a sort of a, a timed pulse so if I was to put down a minecart here and give it a little push we've actually got some accelerators with a uh, rail here and you can see that it's actually giving off a tick every so often so it actually depends on how fast the cart is going 
on and that will depend how fast the pulse is given out and as you can see it's going off for a second then coming back on off and then on off and then on cool so there's actually a manual way of doing this that doesn't involve a minecart but I just thought that'd be quite cool to show you guys you can have some fun with that maybe uh, so there we go um, is there anything else I really need to show I was gonna show one more rail actually so we were gonna get the activator rail okay 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 so uh, actually I've already got one set up over here let's get a powered oh we want let's just type in rail actually god my pun my spelling is atrocious today so let's get uh, that and we'll get a redstone torch and we will get a I don't know a TNT minecart that's what we're gonna need there we go and let's just grab a block off the ground here and place a one of those there and one of those there so as you can see when I place a th it's like a, a bit like redstone it can only go up one at a time in terms of blocks so if I was to put um, if I was to put a one here and one here it's actually gonna go up diagonally so we need to change this to a powered rail and as you can see if I delete this it doesn't actually delete this one how slanted it is anyway so let's go ahead and put a regular rail regular rail here and down here at the end we've got a activator rail so the theory is if I go ahead and grab some wood we're gonna put down our thing here now this is gonna break it because we haven't actually got a signal if I was to power this let's see what happens shall we so this is powered and what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's gonna happen anything 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 doesn't seem like this is working guys I might have to look into this um, if I miss something maybe we need to power this this might be the case actually so let's go ahead and yes we do we need to power it look so now that we've powered this we actually are gonna redo this uh, well redo our little experiment so we've got a break let's go ahead and power this and see what happens as you can see that the car is actually ignited and is going to explode and destroy my whole track and everything there so that's what activator rails are used for they're used for activating TNT in a minecart so we don't actually need to you know maybe we can set up an automated mate, um, automated, automated way to mine uh, in maybe a survival or something or make a tunnel uh, you know and in a cool way we don't have to go manually dig it out like uh, a lot of people hate to do so there we go so this has been episode three of my redstone tutorial guys on rails basic rails that is please like subscribe any feedback is welcome see you next time bye bye